Prey dummy conditioning inspired by Simone. Mueller's predation substitute training case studies webinar. Prey dummies help dogs with engaging with the handler instead of the need to chase prey. They are like a normal dummy, but with no filling and a zip as well as Velcro. Treats or a toy depending in the individual dog's preference goes inside the dummy. Dogs need to be conditioned to them so that they know what to do with them. This should be done first in a quiet room with no distractions. This helps the focus and the engagement with the dummy. We begin by attaching a lid to the dummies, so that the dog doesn't run off with the dummy. Prey Dummy Conditioning Part 2 I've made this step-by-step -step training guide, as it can be hard to understand how to condition the dog to the dummy especially when they are not a natural retriever but do have a prey drive. So we began by offering the dummy, and when they take it and drop it, we click and open the dummy take the treat out and give it to them. Letting them see that the treats are coming from the dummy and not a treat pouch. This was to form an association with the dummy and the rewards. So we are shaping that when they take the dummy and drop it to us that they are rewarded for the behavior. And keep repeating this until they are confident in the behavior. Prey Dummy Conditioning Part 3 The next step is to add a tiny bit of distance, so we drop it. And then the dog picks it up, and we click and treat from the dummy. This is to build their confidence of the behavior and what is being asked of them. Good boy, Django. Yay, good job. Once they have done this, we can then increase the distance a little more. Encouraging Yay, them boy. to bring it back Clever. to us to reward them, and so that they don't just pick it up and begin boy. nagging at it. Then when they return it, we click and treat them and repeat this process so that they understand that by retrieving the dummy that they are being rewarded from the dummy. Yay, good boy! Once they have good the hang job. of this, you can prove it by practicing in the garden. On your walk your dog would be on a long line so that they don't run off with the prey dummy and so that they engage with us rather than the animal prey in the environment. You would keep your dog on a long line until you have fully proved the behavior and that they reliably return it each time. Good boy, Jang Jang. Good boy. Prey Dummy Conditioning Part 4. When you and your dog are really savvy with the prey dummy, you can also do impulse control exercises. Depending on your cue word whether it is wait or stay ask the dog to stay. Throw the dummy and wait for a duration before releasing them to retrieve the dummy. Good boy, bring it then. Bring it. Go bring it. This helps with their prey drive further as they can begin to focus on you and disengaging from any prey that they might see. A prey drive is a natural instinct and is a genetic part of the dog. Okay. 
It is more intense in some breeds than others, depending on the breed, the breed's history and the breed's line. And of course the individual dog. But prey drive is also a behavior many people need to control due to the law in nearly all countries, as well as not hurting other animals. And of course, then not resource guarding an animal they have caught, for example, a rabbit or a bird. Bring it, bring it, Diesel. bring it. Bring, 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 bring it then. This exercise also shows that this behavior can be taught with positive reinforcement successfully. As well as being an essential behavior to teach this also strengthens the bond between dog and handler, which is really important.